Hi and welcome to the second in our series of videos for Heritage Week on the Ohm Stones of County Kilkenny. In the first video presentation I talked about Ohm generally, what it is, where it is found and so on. And in this and the next video I will take you on a virtual tour of the Kilkenny Ohm Stones. In the last video I also mentioned the Ohm in 3D project. And this is what the project website looks like. We have recorded, researched and uh, recorded in 3D and digitized over 150 Ohm stones around the country, mainly thanks to funding through the National Monument Service. And we have included four stones from County Kilkenny, one from Ballyboden, one from Goran and two from Tullaherne. However, there are 15 Ohm stones in total recorded in the Archaeological Survey of Ireland from the county. One is now lost and two are in the National Museum of Ireland, which leaves 12 still in the county. Four of these, as I mentioned, were already included in the Omen 3D project. Thanks to funding uh, this year from the Heritage Office at Kilkenny County Council and the Heritage Council, we were able to carry out fieldwork in the county and we have now recorded and added to the website the remaining eight homestones. You will find a link to the Kilkenny Homestones page of our website on the Heritage Week project page. You will also find videos recorded during site visits last month. So we will now start the tour of the homestones using the National Monument Service Historic Environment Viewer to demonstrate the location of each of the sites. So on the right hand side here we have a list of the homestones with the townland name. And the very first one is Greenhill, which corresponds to this dot here on our map. So here's a close up of the site. So on top here we have the historical six inch map. And you can see here the townland of Greenhill with the townland boundary here in red. And you can see Kilahi written across the screen here, which is the parish name. And in fact, the site, which is right here in the corner, um, right on the boundary, the townland boundary, we have the church and graveyard of Kilahi. And Kilahi is uh, the name in Irish, kil meaning church, and achid meaning field. And in the satellite view bef uh, below here, we can see uh, the church and graveyard here on top of a little hill. Uh, now, I mentioned earlier that one of the homestones from County Kilkenny was now lost, and it is in fact the homestone from this site. It was recorded in the 1870s that an ohm slab was found nearby, but was subsequently broken up, and at least one fragment was used in the construction of the graveyard wall, which you can see here uh, in the satellite image. So that graveyard wall was presumably built sometime uh, around the 19 or the 1870s. So there may still be pieces of this lost homestone built into the graveyard wall or remaining around the site. Uh, I haven't been myself, but it's one that I, I hope to visit and check out at some stage. So next, next on our list then is Shank Hill. And this one is actually not marked on our map here because uh, the find location is not precise. Uh, we just have a description that it was found on a townland boundary. And it is up here near Paulstown on the townland, uh, in the townland of Shankill in County Kilkenny on the boundary with uh, that townland and the townland of Wells in County Carlow. Now again, Shankill means old church. Uh, so it may be that it was associated with a, an old church site in this area as well. So all we know about the location is that it was somewhere on the boundary of these two townlands. So this is what the Shank Hill Ormstone looks like. And it is now in Roth House Museum in Kilkenny. It is a very small homestone at only uh, a little over half a meter in height whereas most homestones would be at least one meter 
The inscription on this stone then appears to read uh, of Mac Conlach or Conlang, son of Coil, descendant of Cusk. Very typical type of ohm formula where you have a personal name in the genitive or possessive case, Tishaginaduk in Irish, um, meaning that another word, word is understood before the name, so like stone of, uh, burial of, territory of, or whatever. And this name then is followed by usually Makwi, which is uh, the old form of Mak, meaning son of. Then we have the father's name. And uh, then we have a Mokoi, which means descendant of, followed by, by an ancestor name. So next on our list then we have Church Clara. And two home stones are found at Church Clara, which is here on our map. And here are the two ohm stones at Church Clara, which again, uh, Church Clara is an early church site. And the ohm stones are built into the current church rune on the site, which appears to date from around the 13th century. The first ohm stone was uh, discovered in 1869. And it is located under a window in one of the walls of the church. And as you can see in the image here, a modern ohm or a modern uh, gravestone is in front of the ohm stone and is obscuring some of the text. But it appears to read uh, of Tygon, son of the descendant of Mach Curb. Uh, Tygon is a uh, little tig or little poet. Then a second ohm stone was discovered built into the church in the 1970s and this one is at ground level in another wall of the church near a door and the inscription here uh, appears to read of Gelon or Gilon so maybe a little bright one or little hostage and uh, we don't have a, a father's or a, an ancestor's name here surviving unless it runs around the back of the stone and it's just not visible at present. Next on our list then is Goran and Goran is right over here on our map. And the ohm stone here is found uh, in the church of St. Mary's at Goran. The, the stone was discovered in the foundations of the old chancel when they were building the new chancel. The inscription on the stone appears to read uh, of Mach Erke and it also has uh, a cross on the stone. And with all of these you can find more inform information on the inscription, the stone and the site on our website. And next then we have two ohm stones discovered in the townland of Dunbell Big, which is located here on your map. These two uh, stones are the ones I mentioned earlier that are actually now in the National Museum of Ireland collection, so no longer on site in the county. These were discovered in the 19th century during removal of ring forts in the townland, and they are badly damaged and quite fragile, as you can see here. The townland name appears to be uh, Dun the fort of the sacred tree and the broader landscape here is possibly the um, an early medieval royal center of the Ostriga kingdom and it's interesting actually that one of the inscriptions the one below here commemorates a member of the Egentig who were a ruling line of the Ostriga and the personal name here the person commemorated uh, appears to have a Latin name Nivalis on the other stone then the inscription reads of Bronad, son of Dokra. So in the next presentation then I will continue with the remaining home stones further south in the county.